all welcome to the channel this is Astha I hope you all are doing great first of all congratulations to all those candidates who are receiving their offer letter from Infosys company yes guys it's a great feeling because on daily basis I'm getting mails and messages from your side that you received your offer letter from Infosys and there are so many candidates who are waiting for their uh, results of interviews so no problem guys be positive you also got your offer letter like guys like previous hiring mein Infosys mein hamare channel ke kaafi sare subscribers ne join kiya hai Infosys as system engineer role okay and in this hiring also so many of our candidates they are getting offer letter from Infosys and I'm really feeling happy for them guys why because I'm really working hard I'm putting all my efforts to prepare all of you for Infosys interviews so guys if you are preparing for Infosys or any MNC company ke interviews ki, I am here to help you out completely free of cost okay if you have any doubt if you want to do mock interviews if you want to improve your skills anything you want to discuss with me I am here I'm available for you people to help you out to crack any good MNC company especially if you're preparing for Infosys I am ready to take your mock interviews as well in last week guys so many candidates they attend mock interview with me completely free of cost and they are getting offer letters also Unka interview kaafi achha gaya hai because with the help of mock interviews you'll get your confidence you must be able to get to know your weak points and your strong points and you can work and work on that right so guys if you also want to do mock interviews with me for any particular mnc company please let me know i'll give you links in the description box you can uh, connect with me on top met okay top and you can connect kar sakte ho, completely free mein. you don't have to pay anything you simply need to book your slot for free and you can connect with me we'll do your mock interviews we'll discuss any doubts if you're having related to infosys company or related to your career okay so please do connect with me that will be a pleasure for me as well i really want to help all of you if you want to crack any mnc company okay now in this video guys we'll discuss about the latest interview experiences of the selected candidates why guys because i want all of you to get all the information about the latest interview questions and uh, interview details from the selected candidates right so in this video i'm going to discuss about the three interview experiences please do watch the video till the end this will really help you out if you are preparing for infosys company so let's start uh, before that please consider subscribing the channel don't forget that that is very important because on daily basis i'm sharing all the required information from the mnc companies for all of you okay so here we'll have the first interview experience of Vishal. Uh, Vishal is one of our subscriber guys and he recently cracked Infosys company and he, he's going to join company on 17th of February. So we'll see all his interview experience. Along with that guys, uh, I received a mail from one of my subscribers. She got selected in Infosys company. She was writing, my name is uh, Dhruva Jyoti and she's 2020 pass out guys, ECE batch. And I was following your channel for a long time and preparing from your channel. I came to know about the Infosys hiring and applied and recently got offer letter. I would like to thank you, ma'am, for your team and for helping candidates to get landed with their dream job. So, guys, uh, it's a really great thing when you people share with me about your experiences, your results. So, please do uh, that on a regular basis. That really gives me motivation, ki, yes, because of my efforts. Somebody is getting a benefit of that, right? You have opportunity, you are getting to join the company. So, I am very happy, so please share it with me. This is a lot of motivation to prepare all such content. Okay, now we'll start with the first interview experience, guys. Uh, so, this experience is, uh, he is Vishal Singh, one of our subscribers again. And uh, he belongs to civil branch, actually. Civil Engineering 2020 batch. His uh, written examination was on 23rd of January. His written test uh, results he received on 28th of January and interview date was 7th of February and an offer letter he received on 11th of February. Okay. And he is having his joining date on 17th of February. So guys, he has shared all his experience with me. So we'll see in detail about the, all the questions. So guys, his interview duration was 19 minutes. The first question was, tell me about yourself. Very important question, as I used to tell you people in all my videos, please do prepare this question nicely. If you want to know in detail how you need to prepare this question personally, you can connect with me on TopMet. No problem with that. Okay. You need to explain this thing in detail. How you need to explain? You need to mention your skills, your achievements, your uh, internships, certification courses, trainings, anything you have done that is going to be beneficial for IT industry. You can mention in this answer. That will really help you out. What do you know about Infosys? A very important question. I have already shared uh, the answer for this question on my channel. 
how infosys will have an impact on your career why such a sudden shift from civil to it as i told you guys if you are belong to any other branch if you belonging to any non it branch non cs uh, branch and you want to join it sector then you should be prepared with the answer why you want to switch to it sector because 99% of non cs it candidates will going to have this question why you want to switch to it sector okay why the interviewer asked this question just to check your interest into the it sector and what is the reason behind that you are switching from your own domain to the it sector okay so be prepared with the answer then if you get the same ctc from a startup and infosys company what will you choose so again a very important and a new question actually you can prepare this question as well because nowadays we have a, a trending trend of startups also okay so be prepared with this answer tell us about the internships you have done during the btech okay so if you have done any internship you can have to explain that thing here asked about the final year project so again very important uh, segment that is a most really repeated question about the project so you should have detailed information about your project guys that is very important then if i am co comfortable with relocation or not asked which programming languages are you comfortable in okay do you have any questions so guys uh, this is the complete interview of vishal uh, and you can see uh, on the basis of this questions vishal got shortlisted selected in infosys company and he is joining a system engineer role so you also can prepare such questions guys in infosys most of the question levels are like this only no much technical questions detailed technical questions they are going to ask you basic technical questions only so be prepared with your projects with your resumes with your internships certification courses or some hr questions that i have already shared on my channel okay now we'll discuss about the next next interview experience guys that is for sarbhanshu sanyal okay he is again one of our subscriber and follower and he shared uh, his experience with us dear ma'am i saw your videos and got an idea how the interviewer could ask the questions okay guys just to give you an idea how the questions will going to be i have already shared 80 plus live discussions one to one discussions with the selected candidates of infosys company okay they all got selected with infosys company for system engineer profile they all are our subscribers i try to share latest experiences with you people so that you'll get an idea how you need to do your preparation how you need to prepare your questions your answers all the details okay so please be with us uh, follow our channel so that you'll get all the information so here uh, he started with the introduction guys uh, first interviewer asked about the introduction question tell me about yourself a very common question but very important question built then the next question was built in function okay i answered with printf and scanf with an example then what is macro functions so you have to be uh, prepared with this question as well okay then the next question is a uh, decision making statement okay if an else basis question the interviewer asked him then the difference between struct versus union okay then construct character asterisk p versus character construct express p answer then static versus global and sdlc again a very important and mostly repetitive question most of the candidate this candidate belongs to cs and it branch that's why uh, they are asking the most repeated technical questions to him but no buddy will guess what type of questions the interviewer will going to ask you so you have to be prepared with all the questions okay then what is sdlc a very important question so guys please try to frame this answer very nicely you can give some lifetime uh, real life examples as well you can explain all the phases of software development life cycle so that will help you out here then string to number conversion uh, they asked him to write down a program okay a uh, logic behind how you need to convert a string into a number okay then how to create a database how to allocate memory for the table what are the recent technologies in the it field again a very important question guys because the mostly in all the interviews the interviewer ask this question about the latest trending technologies in it and if you belong to non cs it then you have to prepare this answer very nicely okay uh, you can answer about the iot machine learning and all those things artificial intelligence then explain your project so again a very important thing you need to prepare your project guys they may ask you any particular question from your project or they may ask you to explain your overall project your role in the project which technologies you used in the project how you manage all the difficulties faced during the project so all these are the questions the interviewer may ask you okay then the next question is why should we hire you a very important hr question so you have to put all your skills all your achievements all your uh, educational things if you have 
to convince them that you are a very good candidate for this position okay then why should we hire you why you choose srm for me okay then why you choose for me because he done uh, me also so okay uh, where are you doing your internship are they paying you for the internship ask any question if you are having so guys this is the complete interview the interview went for 20 to 25 minutes interviewer asked almost 20 questions guys so you all have to prepare this thing nicely okay because guys it totally depends on the interviewer how much they are interested in your resume how much they are getting uh, questions from your resume so if you are done with any internship certification courses or projects you have to be ready with that because you should have knowledge whatever you are mentioning on your resume you should be clear about that okay all these are the questions you can take the screenshot as well you need to prepare all these questions guys very nicely now the next question uh, in process experience is coming from aradhya reddy she is also one of our subscriber and she has completed her interview today only okay today in the morning slot only she can done with inter her interview so first interview question was self introduction again the most repeated question then technical skills c and c python Uh, they may ask the question that uh, in which language you are more comfortable. So she answered C or Python. Okay, then he asked me questions in Python. So you have to mention only that particular language in which they are. You are confident about that. Yes, you know this language. Or else you can tell them I am a beginner in C. I am a beginner in Python accordingly. So they are going to ask you questions accordingly. Okay, then swapping of two numbers with and without using third variable. Very easy question to do programming. You need to simply uh, explain the logic behind this. you can prepare all these basic programming questions from internet as well google as well you will get all the answers there okay then percentage operators in python what is percentage operators in python you need to prepare that what is oops concept as i told you guys you have to prepare at least four concepts very nicely sdlc concept oops pillars dbms these are the mostly repeatedly asked concepts so you have to be ready with this okay about class and object program then uh, the question from the project so you have to prepare your project uh, any question from the project the interviewer can ask you then cross question in project okay so this is the interview that aradhya had uh, in morning itself so guys these are the three interview experiences that i want to share with you people so that you can crack all these questions uh, in advance okay if you want any help from my side no problem you can connect with me directly on topmat or you can mail me i'll definitely solve your doubts okay and i hope these questions will going to be helpful for you people so please be ready with all these questions if you need any help please let me know and do subscribe to the channel share your experiences with us this will really help us to help all other candidates okay milte hain next video mein with a new update all the best for your preparations thank you